Hello, my name is Ken, and this is my review of the OOSSXX four camera wireless video home surveillance security system that I purchased new from Amazon in April 2020. This is a do it yourself kit that is truly a plug and play system, meaning when you turn on the four cameras and the monitor, then voila, you instantly have video on the 10 inch color screen. And that's pretty cool. Now I'm just an old dumb country boy who don't know nothing about high tech stuff. So if I can put this thing up and make it work, then so can you. <laughs> My wife and I, we own a 1,600 square foot home in a middle class neighborhood. And now that we're both in our 70s, we have become some of those folks who we used to laugh at 40 years ago. Yes, the nosy neighbors. <laughs> and especially my wife, because every time that she thinks that she hears a noise outside, she runs back and forth from one window to another window, peeking out through the window blinds and trying to see what's going on. <laughs> what I originally wanted to do was buy her an old surplus U.S. Navy submarine periscope. So whenever she hears something going on outside, she could run to the periscope and check it out. <laughs> Well, I couldn't find a surplus periscope. So I did the next best thing that I knew how to do. I bought the OOSSXX home surveillance security system. Now I don't know what the neighbors think about it, but my wife, she loves it. And that's what matters the most because a happy wife means a happy life. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, professional video security system manufactured by a company called OOSSXX right here. It's a four camera security system. Let's see what's inside the inside the box. Looks packed real well. And before I get to going too much with this review right here, I'm going to say something about this box that this video security system comes in. You'll notice that it says right there on the box, professional video security. Well, <laughs> It may be professional over in China where this system is manufactured, but in my book, this is more of an amateur system than a professional system. And as I go along here and I explain things, then you'll understand why. Okay, this is one of the four cameras right here and all four cameras are just exactly alike. Each camera weighs about one pound, consumes about five to six watts of power. It's made of metal, and it seems to be built very well, and it's weatherproof. There are four things on the front of this little gizmo. First, there's the camera itself, and it works really well. Second, there's the infrared lights, and at nighttime, it too works really well. And the last two items here is the microphone for the one-way audio and the motion detector for the alarm system. And I will uh, 
talk a little bit more about those two items later in this review. Oh, and while I'm at it, and we're looking at the front end of this camera, here is some good advice. Before you mount these cameras, be sure and remove the clear plastic protective covering from the lens, because if you don't, then you will get a really weird looking image on your monitor screen. But I can't believe that there's anybody out there who would be stupid enough to do such a gulp, dumb thing. <laughs> they call this camera a P67 camera, but that's just a fancy name that's supposed to sound good. But it doesn't mean doodle squat to me. That P67 is just some kind of a weatherproof rating. It has something to do with dunking the camera into three feet of water for 30 seconds before it explodes or something like that. <laughs> anyway, the P67 is just a weatherproof rating and that's it. Each one of these cameras comes with a short antenna for transmitting the wireless video from the camera to the monitor and the antenna easily screws on to the back of the camera just like that and according to the manual these cameras will transmit the video for almost 200 feet unobstructed and about 100 feet through one wall and about 50 feet through two walls. The camera base has a small groove so you don't pinch the electrical wire when you're mounting the camera. The camera base measures two and nine sixteenths of an inch across and there are three holes for the mounting screws and each camera comes with three screws for mounting on wood and three plastic sleeves for mounting into sheetrock. Each camera has a nine foot long power adapter that goes from 110 volt AC down to a low 12 volt DC. And you may still have to use an extension cord because no matter where you mount these cameras, you're still gonna have to have a 110 volt power receptacle to plug into because the wireless part of these cameras is for the video only that transmits from the camera through the air to the monitor. Each camera has two wires or two leads. The small lead is for plugging in the 12 volt DC power supply. And if you're like me, you probably won't ever have to use that big lead because that lead is used to connect the camera to the monitor via an ethernet cable for synchronizing the camera to the monitor. But you probably won't ever have to worry about that because all four of these cameras come right out of the box already synchronized to the monitor. All ready to go plug and play as they say. <laughs> you would only need to use that big plug if you were adding another new camera. And the instructions on how to do that is in the manual. Another item that's in the box is a small remote antenna with an eight foot lead wire. And if needed, it can be used in lieu of one of the rigid antennas on one of the cameras. Another item in the box is a short ethernet cable that can be used to synchronize an additional camera to the monitor and NVR or to connect the monitor and NVR to the internet so the videos can be viewed on either an iPhone or an Android as you sit at your most favorite coffee shop, sipping a mint mocha latte, and as you watch your dog digging in your flower bed, 
that you have put so much of your own blood, sweat, and tears into, and as you watch a porch pirate running off with those packages that you have been waiting for for so long. <laughs> And there are four stick-on decals that are included in the box that you can stick on either your doors or on your windows. Okay, here's the small 10-inch color monitor. 10 inches as measured diagonally from the lower left corner to the upper right corner. And this picture was taken before I removed the clear plastic protective covering and that stick-on label from the screen. This small 10-inch color monitor has a flip-up antenna for receiving the wireless video signals from the four cameras. Most everybody knows what a DVR is, a digital video recorder. But this 10-inch monitor has a built-in NVR, network video recorder, which means it records the videos from all four cameras at the same time. And with its 1 trillion bit memory, it records 24-7 for 19 days. And then it loops around and starts recording over itself. So you don't have to do anything at the end of 19 days. But you will lose all videos previous to 19 days. The power consumption on this small monitor is only about five to six watts, which is not very much. Now I don't know why, but this monitor does not have an on off switch. But what I do know is when you plug in the small 12 volt power adapter that comes with the monitor, it comes on and it stays on 24-7. And if you want to turn it off, then you have to pull the plug. <laughs> and that seems to me like a very poor design and certainly not professional. Now you can't see it in this picture, but there is an on-off switch on top of the monitor just to the right of the antenna. But all it does is either turn on or turn off the viewing screen only. This picture shows the monitor with its small metal base that's attached to the monitor with two small screws. This allows the monitor to sit on a table, or in our case, our fireplace mantle, where we like to keep it. However, the small metal base does present another problem, and that is if you want to connect the monitor slash NVR to your television for better viewing via an HDMI cable, then you're going to have to remove that small metal base because it runs hard interference with the HDMI receptacle. Another poor design and certainly not professional. Now that's my very own humble opinion. <laughs> but in all fairness, let me say this, there are three recessed holes on the back of this monitor that allows for mounting this monitor on the wall. So if you take the mounting base off and mount this unit on the wall, then you can connect an HDMI cable. And right here is what the small 10 inch color monitor looks like sitting right up there on our fireplace mantle. That's it to the left right there. And ain't it purdy? <laughs> and that thing over there on the right is our small eight inch digital frame that has several hundred of our vacation pictures and selfie photos. And the reason they're called selfie photos is because narcissistic photos is too hard to spell and too difficult to pronounce. <laughs> and I should mention right here 
that this small 10 inch monitor is not a touch screen. It uses a small black plastic mouse that comes with the monitor. And that's it located right there next to my left hand. And my wife does not like this photo because I wasn't wearing my wedding ring. <laughs> We've had our surveillance system set up for three weeks now, and it only took me three hours to do it, which means you can do it in about one and a half hours because I only have three speeds, slow, slower, and full stop. <laughs> I've gotten lazy in my older age, so I like to work for 10 minutes and then take a 10 minute break before I work for another 10 minutes. <laughs> Our system was fairly easy to install because we already had 110 volt electrical outlets on our covered front porch and on our back covered patio. So we had to only use a few short extension cords and that was it. And we set our system up as a stand-alone surveillance security system, meaning that our system is not connected to the internet in any form, shape, or fashion. And that's the way we want it, too, because I don't want some sick-minded, weird freak hacking into our system, coming over the speaker in our monitor, and telling us <laughs> that he is Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> and since we don't have sacks of gold and silver lying around here, and we don't own the Hope Diamond, and we don't have any kind of a pet that needs to be watched, then we could care less about sitting at a coffee shop, sipping on a latte, and watching our house on an iPhone. What a waste of time that would be, and precious time too, that we could never ever get back. <laughs> the garbage truck had picked up our trash a couple of hours before this. And this is a replay video, so you will know what that looks like. Down at the bottom of the screen, you see a wide horizontal line that is pink in color. And that's the timeline, where you can click on a time point using the mouse. And that very narrow vertical white line is the time point that I chose for this replay. And the highest fast forward speed that the replay has is only 2x. I wish I could say more about the replay, but I can't because I haven't monkeyed around with it long enough to be able to say any more about it. But I will say that it does seem like it's user friendly. I took this photo of the monitor screen at 10.30 p.m. And with the exception of the neighbor's lights across the street, it was totally dark outside. The human eye cannot see the infrared lights, but the camera can. And notice that our driveway and front yard is well lit by the infrared light. So the infrared lights on these cameras seem to work really well, and they claim up to 60 or 70 feet. Okay, here's the monitor in action right here. And you'll notice my right hand is on the small plastic mouse. And notice too, that all four camera videos are on the monitor screen. And using the mouse cursor, 
you can select the video that you want or the camera that you want double left click it and bring it up to full screen just like this this is our camera number one that looks down the street out across our driveway and half of our front yard they refer to these cameras as channels and this particular surveillance kit is an eight channel system meaning it can handle up to eight cameras and let me mention here too that the background noise that you are hearing right now is not from the cameras that's coming from one of our air conditioner air outlets that I am standing close to here in our living room this would probably be a very good place to demonstrate the digital zoom on this camera but I'm not going to because the digital zoom really sucks <laughs> for instance it's about 50 and 60 feet from the camera on across the street to those automobiles over there in the neighbor's driveways. I can pick one target, do a digital zoom on it, and all I get is a big fat blur, and that's it. It is certainly nothing to write home about, and it's definitely not professional. What a big disappointment that is, because you're never gonna be able to read any license plates. That is unless the burglar or the porch pirate happens to take his license plate off of his car and holds it right up in front of the camera for you. And then you might be able to read it. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you what the very small menu looks like when I right click the mouse. Keep your eye on the upper left portion of this video and you will see it appear. And there it is. And now you can see how itsy bitsy teeny weeny tiny whiny small that thing is. And you better have eyes like an eagle or a hawk if you think you're gonna read that. And let me mention here too, the mouse cursor is also itsy bitsy teeny weeny tiny and in order to see the very small text and the very small mouse cursor, my wife and I, we have to use a magnifying glass. Now maybe it's just me, but to me, having to use a magnifying glass just doesn't seem very professional. <laughs> but in all fairness, you can probably read it just fine if you connect this monitor up to a large TV screen via an HDMI cable. But for the purpose of this review, I took a picture of it and blew it up so you can see what's on it. And here it is. The video playback seems to work pretty good. The PTZ control is non-existent. That stands for pan, tilt, and zoom and these are not those kind of cameras. The volume control, I have never figured out if that really works or not because I have never been able to get the one-way audio to even work, not even on one of these cameras. So that's certainly not professional. And when we turn on the motion detector alarm, the alarm bell audio seemed to be the same no matter if you turn the volume all the way up or if you turned it all the way down. The alarm bell volume remained the same. So, there's nothing professional about that either. Down at the bottom is what's called a just channel. And a channel is what they call the camera. Supposedly, each camera can be set up independently from each other. But when I make an adjustment on any one camera, it seems to me that it affects all the other three equally as well. And that is certainly not professional. I enabled the motion detection alarm on all four cameras. Well, on one camera, it worked once and it never worked again. 
another camera, it worked a couple of times, and then it never worked again. And the motion detection on the third camera never did work. But, lo and behold, it did work on a fourth camera, and that's on camera number one that you have been looking at. And we were so happy, and we were so pleased, but there was only one problem. It worked too well. <laughs> no matter where we set the sensitivity level, the alarm would still go off every time a car would drive by or every time somebody would walk down the street. And if you're wondering, it's 32 feet from the camera to the street. I know because I went out and measured it. And the alarm would even go off when a bird would fly by. And one day, when it started raining, the alarm went off continuously. Beep, 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 beep. It almost drove us nuts. And as you can tell, I'm already half nuts, so I didn't have very far to go. <laughs> and I finally had to go back into the settings and completely disable the motion detector. So, if you're going to have your system connected to the internet and you want to receive alarm alerts, then you're going to be busier than a cranberry merchant at Christmas time just trying to keep up with the email alerts. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm wrong and maybe it's just me, but I would think that a professional surveillance kit would have a motion detection system that actually works. And to get rid of that small menu on the screen, just hit the right clicker, just like this. Changing from one video to another video on the monitor is very easy. On the small plastic mouse, there is a small finger wheel located between the right and left clicker. And all you have to do is slowly rotate that finger wheel and it will change from one video to the next video, just like this. This is our camera number two and it's looking out over the other half of our front yard and up the street. And now for a change, I'm gonna say something positive about this OOSSXX camera surveillance kit. In order to get this particular camera view, I had to remove the small transmitting antenna from this camera. And I thought that I would have to use the remote antenna that they furnished with the kit, but I didn't. Lo and behold, I discovered that this camera transmits just fine without an antenna, 20 feet away from the monitor and through two walls. So I have surmised that these cameras put out a really good video signal. This is our camera number three, mounted on our front porch and it's pointed at our front entrance door. And when somebody rings our doorbell, we can look and see if it's friend or foe. <laughs> this is camera number four mounted on our covered back patio and it's pointed at our back door. And since our patio cover is supported by steel post, I didn't have any wood post to mount the camera on. So here's a good tip and what I did. I mounted the camera on an eight inch long piece of two before lumber and then I mounted that to one of the steel posts using zip ties or what some people would call plastic tie wraps. So ain't I smarter than a dadgum hog. <laughs> In this video and about 20 feet away from the camera you can easily see our backup power generator in our backyard. And we love our Generac because there are no more 
electrical power outages for us. And sometimes in this video, we even see our cat, Old Smokey, and we can see what he's getting into. Like the time we thought Old Smokey had found a mole in our backyard because we saw him digging a hole in our backyard. But then somebody said, that's not why cats dig holes in backyards. So I guess we were wrong. <laughs> and here's camera number one again. And you have now seen all four of our cameras. Okay, so here is some good news, I think, concerning this four camera surveillance system. If each camera and the NVR monitor each consume about five to six watts of power, then the total power consumption would only be about 25 to 30 watts of power, which is not very much because that's an equivalent to only two 15 watt night lights, so I doubt if there would ever be any kind of a noticeable increase on a monthly electric bill. But who knows? I've been wrong before. <laughs> well, I guess this just about wraps up my review on this OOSSXX four camera surveillance system. And if you have any questions, you might well ask them fellers, because this feller don't know nothing. <laughs> One way you can reach them is by email. I know because I did, and they answered me back on the same day, which I thought was pretty cool. And their email address is info, I-N-F-O, at o o ssxx.com And now comes my overall star rating opinion. And you probably already know what some people say about opinions. <laughs> as a professional surveillance system, as it states on the box, I will give it a one star. And that may be stretching it quite a bit. But as an amateur surveillance system or some kind of a novelty, I will be generous and I will give it a three star. Then along comes my wife and she will give it a four star because she loves it and enjoys spying on the neighbors across the street, which is really why we bought this system to start with. And it's just like I said earlier, a happy wife means a happy life. <laughs> now, before I hang up the phone here, I want to say something else. Thank you very much for watching my video review. And if you watched all 35 minutes of it and you're looking for a surveillance kit, then I sincerely hope that my review has been very beneficial to you. But if you've watched all 35 minutes of my review and you're not looking for a surveillance kit, then you either A, just love listening to my sweet voice and my Texas accent, or B, you really need to get yourself a life. <laughs> but at any rate, if you like my review, then don't be bashful. Click on that like button or send me a nice comment. But if you're one of those folks who just loves sending out negative comments and criticizing other people's hard work, then you're welcome to do that too. But if you do, please send along the link to your video review so I can watch it and see how you did yours. <laughs> and with all that said, I bid you farewell. Bye-bye.